What's up, fellas? This is Nordum here, and we're playing our peasant suicide bomber deck. All commons, rares, warlocks, ninjas. This is on my alternate account, Blight, and we're ranking up. I'm gonna keep the Spirit Drake and get rid of these other two cards. So my priority in the early game, at least uh, right away, is I want to get units and get them on the field and get in there for some damage. It's currently version 5.0 of the deck, our game 2, and our record is 1-0. Okay, that's good. You didn't play a unit on the field. Best for us. You can get our Spirit Drake out. So we're going against Ninja's Pirates. So he can play Bounce here. That'll stop the Mark of Detonation. But... The biggest thing to worry about is Vikings because they have knockback. Okay, Shadow Katana. He's gonna run up and kill it. Ugh, that's not good for us. We have very few units in this deck. Very few. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm going to play Mischievous Imp in a back row here. I can ideally Adrenaline Rush and get up next to the castle. I can play a Mark of Detonation on my guy. But um, I'll need Grotesque Offering if I want to park the, pop the Mark of Detonation. And I could also just plant my guy in front of his castle and hope that he kills it. But we don't know what he's playing in his deck. Don't know if he has Bounce or not. I might have to end up taking that chance. We'll see. I might also just coin out Dark Spirit and play uh, Adrenaline Rush. Son of a... He did that. Okay. So with our Stance of Swift Mantis, we can run up right next to it. We can attack it to take two damage. And if we coin out and dark bolt ourselves, we'll be able to kill it. Let's do that. I don't know if this is a good play or not. It's something that I figured out just a couple of games ago. I could dark bolt my own guy to trigger that. And I just like having control over it. Like if I just played the Mark of Detonation just now and moved away, he would have moved his stubs and then attacked it from range. So his stubs would not have died. Okay, next turn, looking at Dark Spirit and Adrenaline Rush. Opponent's a little stunned, I guess. Shell-shocked. Because we ran up in there and we blew stuff up. Suicide Bomber. Oh, Throne of the Emperor. Excellent. We can also use Dark Spirit to kill that, but we're kind of all in on this deck. And uh, we can't, we can't, can't afford to... Just take out buildings and stuff and lose tempo because we're gonna be running out of cards. That's how our deck works. We can trade off his guy to kill our Dark Spirit. Okay, so we have Scout, we have Adrenaline Rush, and we have Dark Fire. We're gonna need 8 gold to use that combo. Ooh, Backstab! What is that? Okay, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm gonna let him go. I do want to kill this throne though because now everything he plays can run right up to my castle. Or most likely many of the things he plays. And I want to... That might have been a bad play just now. To not attack with the... To not use the dark spirit to take out that throne. But we'll see. If we get something cheaper than the scout next turn... We can dark fire, and that would be the most optimal play for us. Okay, 
Yes! Soulless Lantern plus Adrenaline Rush. That's two. We'll have five, so we're gonna Dark Fire. Dark Fire. Alright, run up in there and blow stuff up. Now we need. We need either Adrenaline Rush or we need Stance of the Swift Mantis. If we, I mean, uh, not Adrenaline Rush, Lunge. We need one of those two, or if I have another Adrenaline Rush, just need any of those three cards, and we win. We win the game. Yes, we got it. Respect. And that's how we play this game, fellas. That's how we play this game. Good game. So our deck worked out for us. So now this is version 5 and we are 2-0. I will see you guys in the next game. Kingslayer!